Oh, good morning to my friends who are in this physical space with me. Good morning to my friends who are on the cyberspace with me. Whether you are here or far, it's good to be with you. Today, we are celebrating the presentation of baby Jesus in the temple, or Candlemas. We celebrate this day to remember the beautiful ancient traditions that Mary and Joseph followed. One of those traditions is Jesus' actual presentation in the temple. In ancient times, babies had to be presented in the temple as a way of formally introducing them to the world. And this happened 40 days after a baby was born. So, 40 days after he was born, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple for his presentation. This story is so rich with tradition that I began to think about the different traditions we have. Traditions here at St. Martin's, traditions we have as people who live in Philadelphia, go birds, traditions that we have in our own families. And because this day had such a beautiful story full of, of tradition and history, I want to share one of my family traditions with you. Every year on Christmas Eve, everyone in my dad, dad's family piles in to my Aunt Linda and Uncle Rob's home. The little ones are always in red and green Christmas outfits. There's always a ham baking in the oven when you first walk in, so it smells really good. And my Aunt Linda has a big bowl of her Christmas punch ready to share. Throughout the years, our party got bigger as our family got bigger. My aunt and uncle moved to a new home, and so did the party. Before my aunt and uncle took it over, my grandparents and their friends would have a Christmas Eve gathering. This party has been a tradition for our family for over 40 years. I love this tradition of gathering at Christmas because it makes me feel really connected to people in my family, even if I haven't seen them in a while. I am afforded opportunities to connect with my grandparents, even if they aren't here anymore, through our shared experience of this tradition. That's a really special thing to me. So when we look at our story again, we see traditions. We see Mary and Joseph connecting with their ancestors through these traditions, like I connect with my grandparents. But they are also connecting to God through this sacred routine. And when we connect with God, we connect with people all over the world in different times and places. God provides us connection through things like traditions, or storytelling, or joyful people like Simeon the prophet in the temple. So for my friends at home, I wonder, what traditions do you have? They don't have to be exclusively Christmas, but they can be. If you are a caregiver or a parent, think back to your own childhood. What traditions did you love? What traditions have you had to let go of over the years? And if you're a child or a younger person, I wonder, what traditions make you feel closer to others? I wonder where you find those special connections or special relationships with people. And to everybody watching, virtually or in person, I wonder what traditions can you initiate or begin as a way to invite God's light into your lives? Friends, thank you for letting me share one of my most beloved traditions with all of you. It's been a joy, and I hope you'll think a lot about tradition and how you can connect to God through that special place this week. Amen.